Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm doing your December readings. This will be for Gemini, Someone Rising Venus signs. And as always, just keep an open mind. The readings are general. Um, and be sure to watch all your signs, okay? Hopefully everyone's doing well. Happy holidays. I'll be doing, you know, separate messages with holiday wishes and all that and other readings. So, I just want to get to the messages with this one. As usual, all the information on readings and specials is in the description box below. I always forget to say that. <laughs> um, but it's always there, you know that. Gemini, December 2020. Gemini, December 2020. I'm getting a start-stop energy with something, so it's almost like you made up your mind about something, and but then all of a sudden you're like, mm, but really? And okay, you might be changing your mind about things or reassessing things. I don't know. So let's see, Gemini, 2020, December. Sorry if you can see my fur babies here. Page of Cups. The world. The Fool, Eight of Swords, High Priestess, Nine of Coins, Page of Wands, King of Coins, Seven of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, the Hierophant. Now you have a lot of major arcanas here, so that tells me that you are... For some of you dealing with an issue of divine timing, for others of you, this is a, a karmic lesson that you're dealing with, completing or getting ready to embark upon. But um, what I'm seeing here is you thought you were done with something. With the world as the challenge of the fool on the mind. You thought you were done with something, made up your mind about it completely, that's it. But then Page of Cups comes in, so some sort of news communication, a new person, a new offer, opportunity comes in and with the eight of swords you're like oh i didn't see this when i was making my mind up about how i feel about this situation and it's like do i does that still apply do i have to make different choices high priestess it, you've been by yourself or keeping to yourself focused on yourself for a long time and again it's almost like you weren't open you weren't interested in offers opportunities from from the outside world whether this is in love, with work, or whatever. You've been so focused on yourself, um, dealing with what you want, and also um, healing from a past situation. With the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck, this offer that comes in has the potential to turn into a long-term commitment, whether, that, whether that's romantic, I hear religious, maybe for some of you you're looking at changing your religion, I don't know. Um, or business, financial, you know. And it's very attractive, it's very attractive to you. It is something that you wanted, but it's almost like I didn't expect it now. Now in the near future you do have the Nine of Coins. The Nine of Coins is an energy where you're happy where you are, you're happy by yourself, you're happy, you know, being independent, independent self-sufficient, you're not sure you want to be part of a commitment. You're, you're not sure. But that's what's on the table, see? Position representing you, page of wands. You're doing a lot of thinking and contemplating about this. Because it is tempting. It sparks a passion within you. It sparks something within you. In your environment, king of coins. This could be the person that sparks this whole thing for you. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Regardless, it's someone who, if it's a person, they know what they want. You can rely on them. You can count on them to keep their word. They're a good option, and you know this is a good option. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw the lovers come out at some point because it's one of them where it's a big choice, and they know it's a big choice. So, in other words, if you accept it, you know it will change your life for the better. And if you reject it, you know that you might always be thinking about it. But what if? You know? In your hopes and fears, we have the Seven of Swords. 
this is like you're almost trying to avoid having to make a decision about this. It's almost like you're um you're waiting it out to see if this situation, person, opportunity sticks around almost. So that will make the decision for you if it's worth it or not. In the outcome, we have the nine of wands, another nine. You're you're still you're guarded with the nine of wands, but at the same time you're still not sure you want to turn your back on this. Because the nine of wands is an energy where you don't really want to give up. You don't really want to turn something down, you know? But at the same time, you're very comfortable by yourself. So it's almost like your decision is, do I want to involve myself in a commitment, again, business, romantic, or otherwise, because I thought I was done with that. I thought I was going to be on my own, by myself, happy, single, independent, financially independent, owning my own business forever. But this is something that is, you should at least be given proper thought because it's really good, okay? It's a really solid opportunity. And I feel like you're, you're trying to make up your mind about it, but you're waiting it out, hoping that you don't have to make the decision. In other words, if you don't do anything with it, you want to see if it goes away or what happens. And if you give it some time where you're in two minds or you're delaying it or you're grinding your feet and it's still there, I feel like that is what is going to tell you, okay, so I should look at it. It's not fleeting. It's not going away. Okay? It's almost like you're testing a situation. So, let's see. What's this page of cups? Ten of Pentacles. It's the op opportunity for a complete transformation in your life. And it will take you to your happily ever after. Eight of Swords again. It's something you didn't expect to have. It's something you didn't see coming. So it's almost like you made up your mind with the fact you were you made peace with the fact that something is not for you and now here it is and you're like oh hold on I didn't think this was a possibility and even though you were completely happy satisfied and content with the decision you made and you were really like feeling happy and feeling okay by yourself on your own working on for yourself by yourself whatever the situation is that you decided you wanted to have for yourself that didn't involve other people even though you were completely content with that you know that this isn't something to just dismiss but it was a timing issue you wanted it or you thought about it in the past and it never came together for you it was always the wrong person the wrong situation why because it wasn't the right time you weren't ready and now you are. Fool card. The Hierophant again. <laughs> yeah, Four of Wands. It's like, oh man, I'm completely happy by myself. I'm completely happy calling my own shots. But I see that this is something that could be long-term happiness, long-term stability. Do I wanna? Do I wanna try? Or do I wanna just keep walking my own path? Do I want to join up with another person, party, situation? Or do I want to keep walking my own path? What I do know is, if I did do this, take this offer, it would be long-term happiness and stability. I just have to make up my mind of what I want in my long term. Does that make sense? Nine of coins and then your future. Knight of pentacles. You are looking at it. Page of wands. King of Wands. So fire sign energy. Aries Leo Aquarius. Aries Leo Aquarius. Aries Leo Sagittarius. For some reason, you're dealing with an Aquarius. Um, but um, do you want to do this? That's your choice. Do you want to do this? Because you're happy being by yourself and making the decisions you know if this is an energy where you have made your peace with the fact that you're always going to be single or just date casually or whatever 
this is where you know what I'm absolutely fine with that I'm actually I actually prefer that because I don't really want to relinquish control I don't really want to not in a bad way but you know what I mean I don't really want to care what another person thinks I don't really want to care I don't really want to but why because you've had such bad experiences and then you have this offer this opportunity on the table in front of you where you know that it would be what you thought it should be from the get-go you know nice and easy and uh, passion but also respect and just communication no drama no fights no arguments so then then you're thinking but hmm, you know if this is about you know a job situation you made your peace with the fact that a management role isn't gonna happen for you it's just not gonna happen you don't have the training for it you tried and failed you don't have, I don't know, whatever degrees people are looking for. You tried and tried and tried and failed. And it's like, you know what? Fine. I am perf perfectly happy at the level I'm at. I'll make the best of this. Maybe I shouldn't focus on my career so much. And you just, you are completely happy and at peace with that. And here comes this role that's that and much more. And it's there. It's for you. It's for the taking. Do you want it? But then you have to kind of go back into what you made up your mind and made your peace with the fact that this is not going to happen. You have to switch your thinking back. You have to switch your perspective back. You know? King of Coins in the environment. The moon is something that you've manifested. And two of Cups, it's something that you've manifested. It just took a long time for it to come together. So long, in fact, that you made up your, fa that you made up your mind with the fact that that is simply not for you. And it's not, again, I can't stress this enough, it's not like you told yourself that and kind of had to settle and, okay, fine. You were absolutely happy, content, at peace with the fact that actually, you know what, that's not for me, that's not going to happen in my life. Perfect. Great. I'll focus on this because this is making me happy. And this is for me. You know? And all of a sudden, here is what you thought was never going to happen. Seven of Swords and your hopes and fears. The Emperor trying to not have to make that decision. <laughs> because you see that it's a big decision. Five of Swords and Seven of Swords. You see that it's a big decision, so it's almost like you don't want to make the wrong decision. So you're trying to not make it. You're trying to have it be made for you. But you're you're gonna have to, because it's your life. This is up to you. You manifested this. You call the shots. You have to make the decision. You can't run away from it. Let's see the Nine of Wands in the outcome. Ooh. The Five of Cups, but it almost flipped, it almost wanted to flip over. The Four of Cups, Five of Pentacles, <laughs> Jesus, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands. You're really stressing over this decision. I don't, you're trying not to have to make this decision in the month of December. You're afraid of making the wrong decision. You're afraid to get your hopes up again. You know it's it's weird. You know that this is a good opportunity, but at the same time, you're like, but what if? You know, there's a lot of doubt. There's a lot of fear of getting your hopes up again over something that you thought was simply not going to happen for you ever. Okay, you're very... But you have the Nine of Wands again. Even though you feel all this and you think all this, you're still... I don't think I should walk away from it. I don't think I should turn it turn it down. Okay? Let's see. Any other advice for Gemini on how to deal with this? The World card and the Six of Pentacles. This is... Have faith that the universe has your back. Have faith that um, the universe is repaying you for everything you've gone through. Seven of Pentacles, yeah. Three of Cups. You've waited for this for so long. And out of the blue, here it is with the Tower. Nine of Wands. Six of Wands. Page of Cups again. It's moving very fast. You are going to have to make a choice here. It's not actually going to be made for you. But it may go away if you don't make a decision about it. And that does, that would not mean that it wasn't for you. Does that make sense? 
So if that's what you're basing your, your decision on, it's not correct. The factors are not, you need to change the hypothesis, if that makes sense. So you're saying, I'm going to drag my feet. If it goes away, then it wasn't for me. And that's my sign and confirmation. And if it doesn't, then it is for me. That is incorrect. Okay? So you're going to have to look at it. You're going to have to entertain it and trust your intuition. That's all I can say. I know you're trying not to involve emotion into this. But at the end of the day, your intuition with the moon is what is going to give you the confirmation that you're looking for. So meditate, pray, do what you have to to just try to quiet the mind. And um, see what your intuition says. Okay. It's completely up to you. You can absolutely walk away from this. But when you do, it's very important not to have regret, not to have doubt, because otherwise you this will go away and you'll spend a long time or the rest of your life, we have to be honest, wondering what if. All right? So it's just, I'm just delivering the messages. It's things to consider, if this makes sense to you. All right? So that is your reading. I hope that it makes sense. I hope that it helps. If you are dealing with these energies, let me know. I'm looking forward to your feedback here. Make sure to watch all your other signs, okay? Have a great month. Stay tuned for your 2021 forecasts. Okay? Talk to you in a bit. Bye for now.